Yo, what is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, comes to you guys with a brand new video. I know, I know, I haven't uploaded in a long time. That's not the point of this video. The point of this video is that the New York Knicks are going in the right direction. So yesterday was an NBA draft where the Knicks drafted Obi Toppin at the 8th overall pick and Emmanuel Quickly at the 25th pick. So I just want to give you my two cents on uh, how I feel about those picks and what the New York Knicks are doing today. So without further ado, let's get into it. So getting Obi Toppin at the 8th overall pick, as the New York Knicks fan, I am so excited to see what he can do for the Knicks. And I want to see his pairing with Mitchell Robinson. I want to see how RJ, you know, that dynamic duo goes. I just want to see. I'm just so excited for NBA basketball, especially Knicks basketball, because, you know, tomorrow is the free agency. So tomorrow we're about to see some crazy things happen. Maybe not for the Knicks, but something is definitely going to happen tomorrow. And as an as an NBA fan, I'm down for it. So Obi Toppin going into last season or even this season, didn't really know if he was going to make the NBA. His hardships and struggles, you know, are crazy. If you know his story, it, it's it's a pretty emotional one and to see him come home to the New York Knicks at the eighth overall pick is amazing So in the NBA draft, there was a lot of uncertainty There was a lot of things that were going on that confused a lot of people confused me too But that happened towards the end even in the beginning when um, the Chicago Bulls out of nowhere drafted Patrick Williams I didn't think that was gonna happen because everybody thought that they were gonna take Danny Abia at the fourth overall pick But that didn't ha end up happening. He dropped to the ninth overall pick to the Washington Wizards who, who got a good one? I'm not gonna lie. If you, yo, Denny Abdia or Abdia, he's a pretty funny guy. Uh, he learned English from what they're telling me from um, Call of Duty and um, iCarly and Drake and Josh. Yeah, he's one of my favorite players. I'm not gonna cap. I know he's not on the Knicks, but you know, I got a root for the guy because this story is kind of funny. But let's get into it. So we're talking about Obi Toppin. Obi Toppin is probably this year's, this draft's best score best overall athlete in this nba draft so he won um uh sec player of the year the wooden award and that is, he, he's probably one of the best players to come out of this draft um he does have some big shoulders to fill and i think he can live up to it he was a 20 point scorer on pretty good efficiency um there was this graph that i saw in the nba draft where um uh they're talking about his field goal percentage or in the paint something like that uh, Zion Williamson had a 68%. Somebody was at the second with 66, I believe, and then Obi Toppin was there at 64%. So that was crazy. He's, he's probably, bro, he's gonna be one of the best players in this draft, and I can't wait to see him play in the Mecca Master Square Garden and have fun. So now let's talk about Emmanuel Quick. So there was uncertainty what with the the New York Knicks were going to do at the 23rd, 25th, 27th pick, because they end up trading it. So at first they had the 23rd pick, which they end up trading down to get the 25th and 33. And then they drafted at 25 and got Emmanuel quickly. And then they drafted at 33 to get Daniel Otoro. Then they end up trading it for a 2023 second round pick. Now I can make a whole video on why they did that. And I probably will tomorrow because I want to start uploading consistently. But that's a video for a different day. Let's talk about Emmanuel quickly. So Emmanuel quickly, he is a sharp shooting machine. He lit it up in the in college. He shot 42% from the three, and he was crazy. And I can't wait to see that, you know, transpire and see what he does on the New York Knicks. Um, Emmanuel quickly is a sharp shooter, but he's not a good playmaker, or that's what we have seen so far. Um, maybe. You know, Coach Tom Thibodeau takes both Obi Toppin and Emmanuel quickly and develops them on the defensive side because that's where they both struggle right now. Uh, Emmanuel quickly also struggles at playmaking because he only had two assists per game. You know, he probably could improve it on, on that, but I don't think he's going to be our answer at the point guard position. So we're still looking at that. Maybe a free agency, Fred Van Lee, Goran Dragic. Some rumors of the Russell Westbrook is coming, might happen too. But I don't know. I don't want to talk about that. Uh, I could make a video on why we think I think we're gonna get Russell Westbrook, even though I don't want to. But so now let's talk about what's happening today. So today is the contract contract extension deadline, whatever you want to say it, where uh, the New York Knicks get to choose if they want to pick up anybody's team option. So what is uh, what happened is the 
They didn't pick up Bobby Portis's team option. They didn't pick up Damian Dodson, uh, Kenny Wooden, who I was really high on and I want to see him play for the Knicks. Uh, they didn't pick his up. Uh, Alfred Payton they didn't pick it up. So, you know, we're definitely getting a point guard in the free agency because I don't think we have a point guard except Frank Nelkina and DSJ. And if those are our point guards, we are going to struggle heavily. Even though I'm very high on Frank Nokina, not so much on Dennis Smith Jr. So they didn't pick up uh, Taj Gibson either. And so that what this is telling me is that the New York Knicks are looking to play their young guys. Um, they don't have no starting center because, you know, they've had Mitchell Robbins um, come off the bench for, you know, foul troubles. Even though I believe they should have left him in there because, you know, you learn from your mistakes. Your mistakes are your greatest lesson. So I think they should have left him in there, but that's a discussion for another day. They are fully going on, going in on Mitch Robson as their starting center, and I'm totally down for that. Can't wait to see the, you know, the Knicks have starting lineup. So at the center, they got um, Mitch Robson. Power forward is going to be Obi Top, and hopefully they trade Julius Randle. I want him off the team. I do not like him at all. Small forward, Kevin Knox, this has to be a big year. If he doesn't show out this year, I don't think he's going to be in the NBA much longer. And I'm very high on Kevin Knox. So I want to see him do good. So, uh, shooting guard, we got RJ Barrett and whoever we get at point guard. So this is looking very good for us Knicks fan, And I can't wait to see what happens. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys like this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below what you want to see in the next video. As I'll be uploading as much as I can and thank you guys for watching peace out